So hello everyone, right here I have a Fujitsu Esprimo P420 PC and in this video I'm going to be changing the DVD drive. Like just like you can see here, this PC has got no DVD drive. It's very possible you bought your PC like this, which is a PC came without any DVD drive and somewhere along the line you decided to finally uh, get to install a DVD drive on this thing. And this is exactly why I'm making this video so that you can actually see how it's done. It's a very, very easy process. You pretty much do not need a lot of uh, tools to do this. But first and foremost, you may have to buy a DVD drive. This you can easily get off of eBay for, I don't know, 10, 20 euros. This is the data storage brand. So it depends on the brand you are buying or the quality you are buying. But you should definitely be able to get something like this cheap off of eBay. So as soon as you've got that in place, you remove the side cover of the PC so that you can get access to the DVD compartment. That is exactly where uh, the DVD uh, drive stays. So the first thing I have to do in this case is to take away the uh, front cover of this PC. So in doing that, you have to be very careful because sometimes these uh, clips, they are very fragile. So if you force them too much, you will end up with a station where one or two of them uh, may be broken and then it becomes a problem for you to uh, close this properly back in because this doesn't really lock with with any screw aside from the the clip so just to put it out there try to be careful so i'm gonna go ahead and take this gently up just by raising the clips a little bit and just like a little tip there is one more clip hiding inside there i don't know if i can get this in camera but if you look there you will see a lot of mistakes that i find people making is they just get to open this clip without disconnecting that clip right there as soon as that clips out it comes out pretty much easily and that's the front cover of this uh fujitsu pc ideally the dvd drive comes here so we need to first get rid of that so this is how it looks DVD drives comes right there and first we have to remove the um, front cover which is this right here. In taking it out you only need to give it a little bit uh, gentle push. Push outwards. It should normally uh, come out easily. Alright. So when you have that in place, you can actually go ahead and replace your uh, front cover. Replacing it is also the same thing. You just have to uh, align it with the, the chassis of the PC and then give it a little press inwards. You hear this clip sound and you know that everything is already tightly uh, sitting. All right, it's properly sitting. So I'm going to grab my DVD and then we're going to go ahead and push it right in and that's the proper orientation of the dvd so i'm going to go ahead and push it right into the computer okay so at this point we are going to flip the computer over because we need to be sure that the dvd uh, screw holes are aligned with the screw holes on the chassis and as soon as you have that in place you can be sure that the, the, everything is kind of sitting properly in front if you don't have this in place you will see that it's not aligned to the uh, pc housing but as soon as these screws can be aligned you are sure that it's properly sitting here so all you want to do right now is to grab your screws if you can lay your hands on these little screws they will be very helpful because this is what you actually need to make sure that the dvd drive is properly uh, screwed to so the chassis of the pc so as soon as you got that, you're going to go ahead and screw it. The first one is done. And I'm going to go ahead and screw in the second one, just like that. All right. So that goes there. And make sure everything is properly screwed down. So as soon as you got that in place, you, your DVD now has been installed into the PC. So the next thing you have to do is to grab your, um, your power cable and plug it onto the uh, to the DVD drive. I'm gonna grab the SATA cable as well, and then plug it onto the uh, DVD drive, and then look for a free SATA port to 
plug it on. We're going to be using this one right here, all right? So when you've done that in this way, you see that you've been able to fix your DVD drive on your computer. So you can go ahead and power the PC and make sure that it's working by testing it out and to ensure that it's done. It's working. So if this video helps you, do me a favor, go ahead and click on the like button, subscribe to the channel. Until I see you again, peace.